Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here. Today we're going to take another look at the uh, Sciata SD7, but this time we're going to function, sorry, we're going to focus on the menu and the features of the phone. Kind of a walk through uh, visual owner's manual, if you like. Now, one thing I want to mention is that when you first turn this device on by pushing the power button, you have to hold the button down until the little green light here shines up, but also keep holding until you feel a vibration. And then it's going to take up to a full minute before it completely boots up. So just be prepared for that. Um, the thing we're going to do now is we're going to look at the actual functions of the control knob on the top. So if we push in on the button, it identifies who we are and then goes back to the main screen and tells us the time and the date and such. But if we push in on the button, it gets us into the menu. So zones basically, if you think of talk groups in the two-way radio days, uh, this is one that uh, defines who you're going to be able to talk to. So we'll go into a little bit more on that when we get into the, uh, the video on the, uh, the computer setup of these devices. Flashlight is pretty obvious. It's turn the flashlight on or off. You push down on the button. It gets you into the sub menu. You click on, the light comes on. You click off, the light goes off. The brightness of the light, high or low, and then you click back. Third section is the network section. And this is what allows you to choose which way you're gonna transmit your uh, calls to and from the other members of your zone. So you, once we get in here, it shows that you can use the cellular network. And this is essential if you're using long distances. We can use Bluetooth. Uh, we can use Wi-Fi. And this will be helpful if you're only communicating with people that are in, say, the same warehouse as you are and you have a strong Wi-Fi signal in there. You can use NFC or you can use APN. And again, click back to get out of there. The next section is location. And basically this is where you turn on or turn off the ability of the device to transmit its location so that it can be tracked. And this ties in with the SOS uh, feature, which we'll get into in a further video. Audio is the uh, volume of your sound. So basically push in on the button and it gives you the media volume. Push again and it gives you the ring volume. Again, gives you the alarm volume. And again, gives you the call volume, which is this, the volume of the voices and then we can go back. And again, once you get into any of the sub menus and you want to increase, you simply turn the knob to the right and you want to decrease, you turn the knob to the left. Covert mode. This one is kind of interesting because what this does is it turns the device silent and dark. So it shuts off all sounds that the device makes, but it also shuts off any light the device makes. So this is kind of important uh, if, if one of your users comes to you and he says, my phone doesn't seem to be working, but uh, it's on, but it, I have nothing on the display. What they've probably done is inadvertently put it into covert mode. And the easiest way to get out of covert mode is simply to power the device off and power it back on again. The next one is the system. Now what this does is it gives you the device name and that's what allows you to know uh, if you picked up one of the radios off the shelf and you weren't sure which one it was, you could get in here and figure out whose device it was. Orientation is kind of a neat thing because what it does is it flips the screen 180 degrees. Now, you may think that's kind of uh, unimportant, but if you have the device in the belt clip and you've got it in um, kickstand mode so that you can monitor the device without holding it, you'll notice that the text is upside down. So if you click in on the button twice, it flips the device, uh, the screen upside down and allows you to read it. But for now, let's just put it back into normal mode. Keys. This is another one that you may or may not want to play around with. So what this does is it lets you program the, the knob on the top plus the volume up and down keys on the side to perform other functions other than what they're designed to do. So like say, for most people, you should probably leave this one alone. But basically what it does is it lets you choose one of the other keys and change what it does. So you can make the volume up key into the turn on the flashlight button, or you can make it into the PTT button. But again, like say, it's probably best if you leave this uh, the way it is. So let's just get back to the... And once we get back to exit, then we're back 
at the beginning of the menu. And now we're going to go back in. And like I say, we're going to leave SOS until we have a separate video that deals with nothing but SOS because it's kind of a special uh, feature of this device. Support, we're going to come back to in a little while from now, but basically, uh, well, yeah, let's talk about it now. So, for example, it tells you what your Esper ID is. Now, this is only going to be uh, important if you actually subscribe to the Esper service. And if you don't, uh, this won't show up. And then it gives you, oops, sorry. Now, let's get back in here again. And we'll get to the next one, which is about. Now, about is about the radio. So basically, this tells you what your IMEI is and what your IMESV is and what your IMSI is. Now, the difference between an IMEI and an IMSI, IMEI is International Mobile Equipment Identifier, and that basically tells the system which device you're using. IMSI is the International Mobile Subscriber Information, and that is basically tracking the SIM card. So this is another number that the networks use to identify the SIM card. So basically, IMSI identifies the SIM, and IMEI identifies the hardware. IMEI 2 uh, is assigned to the device because it can use two SIM cards, but in this case, it's not active because I don't have a second SIM card in there. And that's why the IMSI 2 is unknown. The version is just simply the version of software that the uh, device is running. That's your hardware version. That's your SKU. That's your Wi-Fi ID. And that's it for the About section. The next one is PTT. And this one, again, is fairly simple. It's a click to on, click to off. So let's go back into this now. And as you can see, this is a fairly complex menu. So it does take a little while to go through it all. Channel announcement. This is where the, the radio will actually tell you what channel you're on. And occasionally in these videos, you've seen uh, the, the device say uh, channel one, phone guy one. Um, this is just telling you which device it is. Now, this is kind of important or sorry, it's telling you what channel you're on, who you're talking to. So basically, this is important if you are wearing a, a remote speaker mic and you've got the radio underneath your parka in the winter, you can't actually get to the radio very simple. So if you turn channels on the remote speaker mic pro edition, it'll change channels. And this way, it'll tell you what channel you're on, just so that, uh, that you're aware of it. Now, let's get back into this thing. Now, network tones, this is what will, it'll alarm to tell you that you've lost your network connectivity or your network connectivity is back. Um, use Wi-Fi. So if you wanted to turn off cellular and use the Wi-Fi, then you would click this and the Wi-Fi would automatically take over where cellular failed. Uh, PTT name and PTT number. This is essentially the phone number that's assigned to the PTT. Now, I know PTT doesn't really have a phone number as such, but if you think of this as a 10 digit billing number that the network uses to identify the volume of calls that this device is making, that makes a little more sense. This one here is what I've called this particular device, which in this case is Brian SD72, um, just so I can identify which one it is. And again, this is handy if you pick the device up off the counter and you weren't sure who had left their radio behind, this allows you to get in and see um, who's, uh, whose radio you have. So that's pretty much it as far as going through the um, the menu on the device goes. Like I say, we do have another video that's coming up that'll go into much more depth on the SOS uh, feature of this device, which is a really important feature. Uh, so if you, if you are interested in, in what we're presenting here, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when the next video is uploaded. And uh, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.